Now that we have a good understanding of how to use the drawing tools in 2D, we want to begin drawing now in 3D. Before we can do that though, we need to understand how to navigate and orbit in SketchUp. Now all of your orbiting and zooming and panning tools are all located right here, but to be quite honest, I rarely use these here. I mostly use a three button mouse to zoom, pan, or orbit. Basically with the three button mouse, you can scroll up and down to zoom in and out. You can click and hold on the middle mouse to bring up the orbit tool. And in that case, you can drag left or right. To pan in SketchUp, you can click on the pan tool here, or, which I prefer doing, you can click and hold on the middle mouse, and you can actually see the little shortcut there that I'm going to explain. You can hold down Shift as well. Now with the middle mouse clicked and Shift held down, it turns the orbit wheel into the pan tool. Now, if you're not familiar with 3D applications or you haven't been in a 3D program for a while, what I find the easiest way to do when you're orbiting is to keep your cursor in this bottom range here because you want to sort of turn around this area. Try to avoid being up here or up here. You either want to be sort of in the center or I find it easiest to kind of orbit around this area here. Another good tip is get a good mouse. On a Mac, the Mighty Mouse or the Magic Mouse, the newer ones by Apple, they just flat out stink. They're not good for your hand and they don't have a middle mouse feature, specifically the Magic Mouse. There are plugins that you can download that enable the middle mouse. I think it's called Magic Preferences, but you'll notice after a while it just really hurts your hand. So get yourself a simple three button mouse, either like a Logitech or Microsoft sells simple three button mice. It'll really help you navigate SketchUp a lot faster and more efficient and allow you to move through your model more quickly. Other ways that we can get into our model or view around is using the zoom tool. So you can zoom scrolling in and out, as I mentioned, but if you actually click on the zoom tool, which is Z as a keyboard shortcut, you can see here, you can actually adjust the field of view. So if you want to see more of your model in your workspace, you can type in a larger field of view. So I can type in 60, press enter. That's going to give me 60 degrees of a visible angle. 60 degrees is good for interiors. 30 degrees is good for exteriors. But I really don't work in field of views. I try to think like a camera does and work in focal length. So if you want to work in focal length, you can actually change the degree amount to translate it to a millimeter amount. So if I want to work in 30 millimeters, I'll just type in 30 mm and press enter. And notice how it changes instead of field of view, it now says focal length here. So if you want a really wide angle shot, like 20 millimeters, or if you want a close up, type in 100, get a 100 millimeter shot. If you're just beginning though, and just kind of working within the model, best place to start is at 30 degrees. And you can get back to degrees, simply just type in 30 DEG and press enter, and it'll get you back to 30 degrees. The last tool in the Zoom series is the zoom extents and it does exactly that it zooms to the extent of your model i use this quite a bit you can click on the tool here or it's also keyboard shortcut shift z and that's always great as you're working in very detailed area of your model and then you kind of want to zoom out and see what the rest of the scene looks like just press shift z it'll zoom you out next let's take a look how you can select in sketchup and then we'll begin drawing our roof pitches.